Welcome back to another video in our series about MailMate. This is Matt Petrowski, a MailMate user and a big time enthusiast. Now, what is mail worth if you can't find what you're looking for? Because mail comes in a lot. This video is about finding email. This is searching made easy within MailMate. Now, one of the biggest features, one of the biggest reasons that I switched from Apple Mail to Gmail initially was that Gmail, its ability to find things was just phenomenal. In fact, if we switch over to my Chrome browser, I have my settings turned on with my keyboard commands. And when I take a look at my keyboard commands, one of them down at the bottom here, the ever popular, it also matches Vim, is the slash character. So I am so used to hitting the, sl the slash character and then looking for exactly what I want. So I hit the slash character, it takes me to the find box. I can put in subject or I can put in from, colon, and then I can put google.com and then search. And it gives me just those messages based on anything coming from google.com as a domain. Well, it's here in the web browser. Google does the search for me, but never fear, I get far more power in MailMate than I do within Google. Google has a number of operators that are allows me, or I should say Gmail, allows me to use subject and allows me to use from and it allows me to use to and it allows me to uh, say, I believe there's something like in and I can look in trash in a specific folder. All of that is all doable within MailMate as well. So as we switch over to MailMate and we show the window, the only thing you need to remember is that there are two different types of search. Now the default keyboard mappings for Google, or excuse me, for MailMate is that when you hit the slash key, if you're using that binding, it'll go into the general search. What you need to remember is that there is a general search and then there is a mailbox specific search. So the search area up in the toolbar up, a, up here is a search across all of your, me, your messages across the all messages folder. Remember the all messages folder is basically the dump all ground for everything. That is all sources, all accounts, everything. When you click right here, you can see that the default mailbox is set to the all messages. You can of course change this to something else, but that would defeat the purpose if you're wanting to search across all of your messages at any given time. This is because the other search method that we have available to us is specifically on a specific mailbox. So with a mailbox selected, whether it's a smart mailbox or an actual IMAP mailbox, you can actually search for that content. Going up to the edit menu, we can see in the find menu that we have the two different options. We have search all messages, which is command uh, option F, or search mailbox, which is command option control F. Now I don't like that keyboard command or that binding. So what I did is I actually used a different binding by changing my personalized Gmail binding. That's in a video previous in this series, how you can actually do that. So that the backslash actually does a mailbox search for me. And then I use a different keyboard binding for searching all messages. So there are so many features here in MailMate that really what it boils down to is understanding that everything hinges off of the same technology. The technology that's used in order to create a filter using a smart mailbox is the same technology that's used when you're going to find. So if I hold down Command, Option, and F, it's going to create a search, a mailbox search, where I can specify any of all of the exact same values that we saw within smart mailboxes to look for whatever I want to look for. And the key thing being here, if I'm searching the unquoted uh, body and I'm looking for contains and I put in the word test and there's my random email test from Matt, if this is the type of results that I'm going to want to see at a future date, all I have to do is then click on the save button in order to save this and what do you think it's going to be saved as? Well, you guessed it, it's going to be a smart mailbox. Same technology, different place. So that's all you really need to remember is that 
Your smart mailboxes are nothing more than complex queries with multiple conditions. If you start a search for something and you realize that that search is going to be something you want to reference over and over again, by saving it as a smart mailbox, you're simply going to be able to simply click over on the side and then have that search actually applied. Now you can see here as I click, this custom search has not been changed. And just like it was when I did the double click a couple of videos ago, when you can double click on the from or double click on the subject and it automatically filters out. If a search has been performed, that search will persist and still allow you to move across all of your folders. So you can see here, I went to the all messages folder, which is doing an unfiltered dump of all of my source accounts. Well, the unquoted body text, if it contains the word test on the all messages folder, it's actually going to find it. If I select on my inbox, which I know is doing a harsh filtering, only those messages I'm interested in, excluding all promotional and social, that's what the search is going to be applied to. In order to get out of this scenario, all I have to do, hit the escape key. Hitting the escape key will remove the search and return me to the normal view of the folder. And it really is that powerful. The same type of searching applies across the all messages search or the message mailbox or folder specific search. So it really is up to you. Find what you want, convert it into a mailbox, you're good to go. All you have to do is click and you're looking exactly at the mail that you want to see when you want to see it.